Hello friends, welcome. I'd just like to briefly talk about Peter's life. Uh, so this is about Peter's life from the 13th of June 1945 and he awoke me in 1995 and uh, on the 27th of December 1995 he passed away. Anyway, <laughs> we'll start from the beginning. He was born he told me in a castle, I believe, in Scotland, and he had seven older sisters. He was the youngest, uh, the only boy, and uh, he uh, used to go fishing in the local lake as a boy. But he told me his father treated him badly sometimes, and that he'd broken steroids over his back, uh, big thick steroids over his back at times. Um, Peter said when he was a child, he fell down the stairs in this castle, I presume, and uh, he was sprawled on the floor, I don't know, he was a young boy. And he said a man that uh, he didn't recognise come and picked him up, took him upstairs and put him back to bed. And later on, he found out that was Father God. <laughs> so that was great. Um, Peter uh, was quite an intelligent person uh, as a young man, I feel. He went to university and uh, he met a lovely young lady that I feel he truly fell in love with. Unfortunately, she already w had a boyfriend so or was engaged. Um, it was a tragic and sad ending because uh, she got pregnant by uh, her boyfriend, I presume, and uh, she committed suicide. But apparently she used to still come and visit Peter when he was awoken and she come once when I was uh, with him in 95. Um, so his, uh, he left school, uh, left university, and he went to work uh, with the guy that invented the hydraulic system for the reversible Dowswell plough. So that was quite technical. I know he'd done some choreography as well, and he'd worked in a some sort of uh, uh, open uh, mine of some sort. I uh, mean, you know, maybe a gravel quarry, in fact and he'd been a crane driver, but his true love was forestry work, and uh, he was a master with a chainsaw, and um, he worked in forestry work, but then he ended up coming to Guildford Borough Crack Council Grounds Maintenance, and he loved it there. In the summer months, he used to drive a four-wheel drive, sit on mower, and do all the steep banks, but uh, he loved his uh, work in the forest. He didn't like cutting trees down, he liked being in the forest, and uh, looking after the woodlands, and that was his true love. Um, he actually went and showed me a uh, animal that he'd carved with a chainsaw, and it was absolutely amazing. Uh, it was a sheep, a black uh, Scottish blackface. So he had it perfect, and you know it was it was a ram, so it looked beautiful and uh, it was wonderful. He also um, done some paintings that uh, he. Uh, had in his house and you know the Hall of Learning was one of them and he had two or three others that he destroyed uh, so uh, one was of this young lady that he knew uh, at university and uh, he had another one which was I feel uh, by the lake where the castle was where he was and there were elephants standing at the side of the lake and the reflection of them in the water was actually swans <laughs> so it was quite amazing he was quite talented you know, he was a peaceable, loving man. Um, and, uh, you know, that's just a brief insight to his life. And uh, uh, he was a wonderful man, truly wonderful. So I thank you for your time. You can see the links below to the website, donations. So have a good day. Love and light. Shep.